Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dina. Lovely pink and purple colors of Tradiscantia, also called inch plant or spider board plant. And the cutest is the Calicia repens, also called Pink Panther or Pink Lady Tradiscantia. It has these really tiny succulent-like leaves. It can grow up to 4 inches tall and a spread of about 4 feet or more. In their natural environment, the stems or stolons crawl along the forest floor where they form roots at different points along their length. That is how new plants are formed and as they move on, they form dense ground cover. In a pot, however, the stems have nothing to hang on to and they get weaker as they grow longer. Look how easily the stems break and the leaves also die back at the base of the stem. So eventually I will have like a bare patch here in the middle. So I thought I'd better prune the plant back uh, before the stems grow really long and start to look leggy. And I will also propagate the cuttings and repot them together with the mother plant in the summer. So I will prune this using a clean pair of sharp scissors. Let me cut all of these off and these as well. Leave a nice round shape. Pruning is part of plant maintenance to keep them healthy and beautiful. I do this to remove dead leaves and stems to make the plant look clean and tidy and prevent pests and diseases. Pruning or cutting off a good portion of the plant, say a third or more of the living plant, is best done in the warmer months when it is actively growing so that new leaves can quickly grow to help keep the plant alive. All of the cuttings will go into this pot. I have a mix of potting soil and perlite and I'm not going to worry too much. Um, I have a lot of cuttings here so they will all go into this pot and some of the stems will not grow but that's okay. find a nice dry area for this pot keep the soil moist and in a couple of weeks I should see new growth and this is the newly trimmed plant I have this plant in a simple mix of potting soil and perlite I water it when the soil feels dry and at the moment it's about once a week I use liquid fertilizer mixing in the water in my experience uh, this plant does well with bright indirect light even some direct morning sun worked well for this plant and i noticed the color is more purple than pink with more light but harsh direct sunlight can burn the leaves and that is all for today i hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful if you do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet leave a comment press the bell icon and i'll see you again in the next video